G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I've been doing some further testing with my Iconoscape TV camera, um, which I've I've tried um, connecting the uh, vertical uh, deflection leads to to a different set of coils to see if I had the wrong vertical coils, and I think um, I had the the vertical coils right the first time so I changed them back to the original um, coil connections anyway um, yeah I just been playing around just adjusting the uh, knobs and dials <laughs> I admit I kind of forget what each dial there does <laughs> I know the one at the end there does um, does a horizontal sync adjustment and at the bottom there um, but that's pretty much about it <laughs> But either way, I've just been fiddling around just to see if I can get something tangible so I can see if I can get an actual anything displayed at all. Um, I know I had this uh, light box with the uh, test pattern on it. So, um, and uh, yeah, I'm not getting any picture on display as of yet. But the good news is... Um, yeah, as in mentioned in the previous video, I am I am getting reaction from the tube when I run a light across it. As you can see on the screen, um, I am getting a I'm getting some light movement on the screen. As you can see when I move the torch up and down, um, you can see on the left side some uh, some light moving about so as mentioned in my previous video I reckon the tube does work if it's actually out putting something and also um, when I adjust the the uh, anode and grid uh, voltages just give me a moment while I put my torch down. When I adjust the the uh, grid one, um, I get I get a reaction on the TV screen, and same with the anode adjustment. So it's doing it's it's outputting something. The tube is functioning by at least as far as I know. So that is something. I have a feeling it's quite possible um, due to the due to the nature of the uh, positioning of the deflection yoke I have a feeling that the deflect I have a feeling that the that the uh, coils are not correctly positioned on the tube neck because I um, I can only push the uh, tube down so far and I think the coils are further down the neck. I have a feeling that might have something to do with why it's not scanning a beam across and down. Um, I have a feeling that yeah, I'm not get the beams not exactly um, sharply reaching the the uh, photosensitive mosaic. I have a feeling that could be a possibility of why I'm not. It's not. I'm not getting a picture. Also, another possibility too is maybe um, maybe the uh, voltage of the horizontal and vertical outputs are going to the yoke are probably a bit low, perhaps, or or very low. I don't know. That's another possibility to look into. So. There's some factors I've got to look into. I'm going to be asking uh, my tech friends some questions. So, let's see what they say. But apart from that, I am getting somewhere with this camera. Um, and, yeah. As mentioned, it's... When I run the light across the... Um, across across the lens I am getting a bit of a reaction anyhow that's pretty much about it for now oh yeah <laughs> when I was adjusting the uh, when I was adjusting the 
the grid one voltage earlier on um, I adjusted a bit low and heard a bit of a weird sound and I copped a bit of a zap which yeah kind of freaked me out and got me really worried about the maybe I might have stuffed the tube up but the tube still seems to be working about the same so don't think I've done that but yeah I've since put on some um, knobs over the potentiometers so I don't get zapped again and I've kind of um, yeah I'm not adjusting the grid one voltage down to its extreme because of because of that reason so I'll sort of keep the movement downwards to the minimum Anyway, I'm just going by observation. I don't know the full, I don't fully know exactly what I'm doing, <laughs> I have to admit. But I'm just, yeah, just mucking around and see if I can get something out, out of the tube. Anyway, I'll talk to my tech friends and see if they can shed light on what's going on here with the camera. So stay tuned for the next video, hopefully I'll, I'd make some reasonable progress with, with the camera by then. So yeah, stay tuned. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out.